not according to the midterms. I mean, you guys, you guys tanked on the midterms okay, most recently. You keep so on like, saying you guys. I don't represent sorry, the Republican my, Party. My apologies. But the, I, just, I, the, I just want to critique one of your misguided premises, which is that somehow the right is not representing middle class voters. It's the opposite. Actually, states that were tradi are traditionally blue collar, muscular class, middle class states are now solid red states. Look at Ohio. Ohio is a state that used to be far left and now it's more in the right direction. So what is the right actually doing about it? To answer your question, a couple things. We're rejecting neoliberalism. Like, how about this? We shouldn't send $200 billion to Ukraine and we should instead represent our own people and close our own border. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick. You like kicking people's ass? Um, knocks arrogant liberal students down. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. I would love to give this a try with you guys. Let's get right into it. Hi, Charlie. Um, I want to say, by starting off, I was told by your wonderful assistant over here that I should tell you that I disagree with almost everything. Obviously, we have not had a two-hour conversation. So, like, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we had a few beers. We agree on something. But I'll have, wa now, I'll have water. I've, you can have whatever all you I've, want. All so. I've heard is stuff that I'm just like, what? Um, first, <laughs> I want to say that I guess as the first two hours of your speech was you complaining about kind of these leftists and kind of this, but I've never heard any policy positions. When I go to something like a, a Senator Sanders convention or someone on the left, they're going to talk about health care, inequality, inflation, uh, growth, but you guys all seem to want to talk about is how the left does this or the left does that, but no policies to kind of fix anything. So I guess that kind of goes with my first question is, what is the GOP's actual position when it comes to fixing inflation? Well, for, let me, a couple things. First of all, okay. I'm not a senator, nor am I aspiring to be one. Number okay. two, Yes, I was mildly distracted by the windows being broken and the terrorists outside. I fully acknowledge that, okay? So I was a little policy shallow tonight and a little bit terrorist deep, okay? I'll fully, I, I, will, I will admit that. Um, third, I'll say this. I don't speak for the GOP, right? I have my own ideas, and I actually think the GOP does a terrible job. But let me give you some ideas that I think you might agree with, okay? I think that vital products should be made in America, not in China. And we should use tariffs and sanctions to get it done. Okay. Vitamin C, penicillin, critical infrastructure should be manufactured here. I think American college graduates should be given preference to go work for American companies above foreign workers. And that means reforming the H-1B system and actually giving you, the American college educated kids, a preference because we have a moral obligation to our own citizens over the citizens of another country. I think we should fully close the United States southern border. I think we should not allow illegal... I, I just want to interrupt you. Sorry. You were saying you're for a government program that puts American college students. So like, no, no, reforming the immigration system, right? So that big companies like Facebook don't do quasi indentured servitude to bring foreign workers in and be able to compete but government against. Would, gov that would be a government program that would do that. Well, yeah, the government program actually already exists. Okay, so you're yeah. actually a conservative who's for increasing the government size, not for Well, no, I want a small but strong government. So I want things that are smart. For example, I'd love to have more border patrol agents and less IRS agents. So where it makes sense to increase the volume of government agents, as long as it is pursuing a couple things that are core to my philosophy, a strong country that has borders, sovereignty, culture, and maintains a moral commitment to its citizens that you should be able to work hard, play by the rules, be able to have a family, own a home, and see rising income and wages. Those are very basic things in a social contract. Why is the increasing IRS agents, which are taxes that belong to us, they help pay for things like roads, GPS, infrastructure, Basic right. things they, that they, you they and yourself need to get here. But, yeah, why so. would that be against? Why would that be so bad? Having everyone pay their fair share of taxes, so we can have a government that functions correctly. Well, Obviously, for, government does work for everything, but we all benefit from government services every day. In the I, basic I'm sorry, services. no one in this room is going to benefit from 87,000 new IRS agents. And so, those 87,000 new IRS agents <laughs> are going to be deployed against small business owners. But I could keep on going with policy examples. I can keep on building it out. But let me just say this: I love markets but I'm willing to critique markets when I think they're not serving people and they're not serving the nation. I think our overindulgence in free trade fanaticism has been a major mistake over the last 20 or 30 years. I don't worship corporations, but I do think that entrepreneurs and private property rights and people taking risks are a general good for society. And not only does history show this, but common sense logic and you know, material reality shows all this. I can give you more and more examples if you want of policy stuff. That's less actually interesting. The reason I don't go through policy stuff is, again, whoa, is that I'm not running for office, right? I don't represent the Republican Party. But if I can build out a worldview that you can agree with, then the policy answers will come naturally, right? So if you understand morals 
and values, then you could answer the next 1,000 policy student, questions. I guess for me, I care a lot more about policy than what people say. Like, like what government does is a lot more important to me, and that's why I was confused why your speech was not about policy. Because, again, I'm but not anyway, running for office. I want to ask one more question so, before I go. Um, I guess for us, there used to be a thing called the middle class, or the idea of a growing and strong middle class. Yep. And I feel like for the past 10 years, especially on the right, maybe on the left too, for the more neoliberal left, but the right, that idea is kind of shrunken. I don't think there's a lot of talk in the middle class. Do you view income inequality as a problem? I totally and disagree. Income inequality, I want to so, say income inequality being the difference between the Let me the ask you, though. And the I, I have a question. Why is it that the wealthiest counties in America all vote on the left? Because that's where all the... How money works and how capitalism works is how all, where all the wealth is where all the people want to be. Like, so Silicon Valley is all the jobs wh and all that Why stuff. do they vote liberal then if the left... Well, what, in what ways do they vote liberal? Not on taxes, not on for, things that I am They for. vote for socially, Joe Biden, they vote for Nancy they're left, Pelosi. But they're, they're socially so, left, but they're not economically left. Believe me, I've, if you go to the Bay Area, they are very economically right. <laughs> Dianne Feinstein is not left in my opinion. So it's, it may be left socially, but I don't think they're left in my point of view. Yeah, but so, so then let me ask you then, why is it that the muscular class in America has shifted right over the last seven years? Not according to the midterms. I mean, you guys, you guys tanked on the midterms okay, most recently. You keep on so saying like, you guys. I don't represent sorry, the Republican my, my Party. Apologies. But the, I, just, I, the, I just want to critique one of your misguided premises, which is that somehow the right is not representing middle class voters. It's the opposite. Actually, states that were tradi are traditionally blue-collar, muscular-class, middle-class states are now solid red states. Look at Ohio. Ohio is a state that used to be far left, and now it's more in the right direction. So what is the right actually doing about it? To answer your question, a couple things. We're rejecting neoliberalism. Like, how about this? We shouldn't send $200 billion to Ukraine, and we should instead represent our own people and close our own border. That's number one. Number two. Number two is that we should be unafraid to use tariffs and sanctions to say that critical infrastructure and things that matter should be made here in America. Whether the, the delusion on the left, and I just want to challenge you on mm -hmm. this, is that the left has a bunch of people that talk a good game, AOC and Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, but when it really matters, they're nothing more than neoliberal shills that are willing mm. to invade other countries, invite mm. them into our country, and then lie to their voters under the veneer of social liberalism. The populist movement in America that represents real people, muscular class teachers, police officers, and firefighters, it lives on the American right because we listen to our constituents and we're willing to fight for ideas like terror tariffs, sanctions, closed border, and no more money to Ukraine, the left is shilling for all those things. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Got to the next, getting to the next one. Thank you. Can I just ask, is, is, is the difference between the mean and the median? Income inequality, uh, there, is that a problem There's 50 you people in line. Income Thank you. Is that a uh, income inequality is a big issue, which is exactly why I support the things that I said. Next question. Okay, it was really amazing to watch this video. Um, number one, Charlie was upset. You can see it in his face. He was kind of like upset with with a man who was talking, who was kind of upset as if the man was trying to put him in a, in a tight corner. But at the same time, the guy was a bit arrogant. Uh, that, that be said, that is true. He was a bit arrogant. But Charlie really like, knocked him out, telling him, I, I, I'm not a senator, neither am, am I in any political party, or I'm not joined to any political aspect. Uh, I'm just doing what I'm doing. So Charlie kind of like gave him clearly. Because he's just trying to frame Charlie as a, someone who is in the political sector. So but Charlie changed that. No, 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 no. Don't frame me that way. Stop using them, you guys. Because the way he was referring Charlie as. So Charlie was making some points like there are some of our good there are some goods in America that should not be made in China. Some vital products that should not be made in China, but they should be made in America. And, and um, Americans being American, we should be having more jobs than people who foreigners who are coming to America. So it, there's a point in what he's saying. Should be told there's a point in what Charlie's saying. Because you can't be in, in your own country and you're number one, you're, you're unemployed. Number two, you guys are just importing literally everything out from another country. So that is, that's, that itself is also affecting the economy. So Charlie is making a lot of points right here. Though he's not a senator or he's not aspiring to be one, but he's making a loud point. But the guy right here is trying to like put Charlie in a, in a corner to trick him. Because the questions he's throwing at Charlie, he shouldn't be asking him in the first place, as I said before. It's, it's for people who are, who are trying deep down in political sectors. So this was actually interesting to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like a old
Kool-Aid. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, 